you guys. This is Rachel Kirkland, the Modern Shaman, and thank you for being here, for joining me for another question and answer time here. If you have uh, never done this before or are new to me, please feel free to subscribe and connect and um, kind of have a conversation going back and forth in the comments or visit my website. I travel around a lot, so I may even be in your area. And you can come out and have a session or do something. Also, I have a pretty vibrant Facebook community that is awesome, where the people are just awesome. So if you're into this kind of stuff, if you're into the psychic and paranormal and just spiritual, metaphysical kind of community, feel free to connect with me on Facebook and get to know all my friends. Okay, let's do it. Question for today. Hi, Rachel. I believe Mercury retrograde is real. And astrology seems to come in and heighten the fear factor at certain times. I've been having difficulty with bullies since forever. How can one protect themselves at this time when energies are strong and intense? Because it feels like the energies of bullies are heightened as well as my fear. I hope that makes sense. I do use spiritual protection and shield, but it seems like it's not sufficient. What else can I do? Okay, so finding kind of a, another type of spiritual protection when you feel like everything's like on overload, you know, when you've got these uh, instances, and I've had experiences with bullies too, uh, just as an adult, like legal bullies, you know, we used to be landlords, and I've had experiences with people just threaten things and use the law to really feel like they're bullying over you when... Um, wasn't a lot of, it, it was just basically bullying, was, but that energy is very oppressive. It comes on top of you. If you feel energy and you're empathic, it can feel, uh, very oppressive. Um, and that's how it feels, you know, even as a child, if you were bullied, it's a similar kind of oppressive energy that feels like it stifles, it cuts your, you know, throat chakra and, and uh, your heart chakra and your stomach and all of that. So... I get what you mean, and if you've got that kind of experience going on, and on top of that, you've got all of this astrological kind of ebb and flow of the magnetic currents of, you know, Leo coming in and fire energy and uh, Mercury retrograde and stifling communication, there's all sorts of stuff that can kind of energetically ramp up, like you said, uh, what you're already feeling, almost like making the energy is 10 times as strong and your emotional body 10 times as sensitive and all of that. So I totally get it. I think it's a really uh, relevant question, whether it's bullies or anything really, when our, uh, the energies around us get really intense and we feel like our protection or, uh, needs to be strengthened. It's like we need a bigger gun in the tool belt. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I keep getting these images of, um, Men in Black, when, I don't know if y'all have seen that movie, like the very first one, the old school one, where they give him a gun, it's like this little teeny tiny gun, and they're like, here, here's your gun, and then he's like, I want that one, it's like this really big, like, bazooka looking thing that, um, so it's making me think of that, I'm getting those visuals of having a sense of psychic protection that feels like, I got the bazooka, this is like, it's time for me to pull out the mother load and, and uh, protect myself. So it's just other techniques, but it does help you feel a little bit more like you can stand in your free will and your sovereignty in your sense of um, personal control on the non-physical level. For some reason, uh, when we begin our life, I think we're not taught very often how to stand in our sovereignty. And so there's a, there's, we have a lot of fear about how to interact with the non-physical. So it's pretty common that people, the first thing they do is they feel fear when they come in contact with or have experiences that feel overwhelmingly non-physical, right? Uh, when our emotions get really, really strong or when um, we have a paranormal experience that we can't see, touch, or feel with our, with our uh, 3D senses. So kind of having these tools in your tool belt, it's not that they're needed because eventually when you get to a higher vibrational state, you're emanating such a space of light, they can't really reach you because they're just not at that frequency. 
But there are times when we're all emotional and we're on ebb and flows, we're human, and uh, it, is, it can be helpful to at least have options for what you want to do in terms of keeping yourself feeling energetically protected and safe. So if it's relevant for you, no judgment there. It's relevant. Okay. And I have been on all sides of that spectrum. So let me just tune into this. I'm going to quiet myself. I'm going to shut my mind and move kind of into my heart space to connect with the question and the energy there and the person asking the question and then um, tell you what I get. Okay, it's a very specific uh, visualization, the one that they're showing me, or meditation. So they're showing it at a time of meditation, but it's basically the Merkaba, Merkaba protection technique. Um, I think it's a technique. I don't know. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm seeing. I don't know if it exists out there somewhere. Uh, it probably does. But basically what I'm seeing is you sitting, you can also do the standing. They're showing me both. When, they're, when you're in a sense of like wanting to feel empowered uh, by this energy, you should stand. When you're wanting a sense of safety and security, almost like a comfort, like an egg, you're going to want to sit when you do this visualization. Um, and you basically close your eyes. The one that I'm seeing, I'll break it down for you in steps. So the first step that I'm seeing is for you to... Um, visualize yourself moving out of your body and standing right beside yourself, okay? So if you've never done this, you can kind of visualize yourself unzipping the skin and almost like moving your spirit right outside, right next to it, standing there. Or you can just almost like kind of pan, shift sideways and imagine yourself looking at yourself, okay? From there... The you that is standing on the outside is watching the you in meditation, either sitting or standing with their eyes closed. And the you that's outside of the self, this is your higher self, your cosmic body, your aligned highest vibrational space, your soul. You take a, it looks like a neon looking, it's almost like your finger, like your finger drawing, but it becomes light when you move it. And you basically draw the Merkaba. If you're not familiar with a Merkaba, it's like a star tetrahedron. It's a uh, sacred geometric shape. It's the Star of David, but in uh, a 3D, um, almost spherical state. And so it's a triangle uh, on top and a triangle on the bottom, and they cross over each other. It's feminine, masculine, yin and yang. It's also known as a cosmic vehicle to uh, move in and out of body. Very, very powerful energy within the Merkaba. Uh, once it's spinning, you can spin it. You can do all sorts of things with it. And I will tell you, if you're doing this meditation and using this type of protection, it's an intense, it is, it's like the bazooka. It's, it's seriously like an intense, higher vibrational space that you're moving into. So it's common to feel out of body, to feel lightheaded, to feel a little bit like vertigo or your equilibrium's a little off when you're walking and moving in this multidimensional uh, geometric energy. Okay. Okay. That being said, let me get back to it. So the first step, you step outside of yourself and that higher self, uh, basically traces the image of the Merkaba in a 3d way over your head to where there's a point at the tops tips and goes to the tip of the head whoop, right here and down and almost like crosses the bottom of the triangle kind of crosses through your solar plexus. And then they draw the bottom triangle uh, where the tip of it almost goes like underneath your feet. And again, the middle kind of crosses your solar plexus. This is a 3D shape, so you are be able to fit into it. Okay, this is also why it's called that cosmic vehicle. You, so you can sit inside it and you see yourself there. When you're tracing it like that, that's what I see you doing is like tracing it. Okay, and it's almost like lighting up. Then I see you use, utilizing the energy of fire. Fire is a purifying energy. If you're not used to using the elementals, um, like you know, earth, fire, water, um, and air, 
fire is a purifying, but it's also an activation, a chemical uh, reaction based elemental. So um, when I see you in this meditation, I see you almost like taking a flame or a, a hand that looks like you're holding a flame and lighting the corner of that Merkaba on fire and then it lights up as if you, you're burning this Merkaba. You're beginning the chemical reaction and then it starts spinning. <laughs> I saw all of this in my head like in these two seconds that I closed my eyes. Uh, it's clairvoyance for you. But so it's so it's spinning and it's on fire. Uh, there is a heat to it um, that feels very protective, very uh, strong. And they want you to feel into the energy of that heat. Uh, if you are clairsentient or um, empathic and you feel energy, which I feel like you do, and I think this is why they're using this meditation for you, uh, they want you to feel into the heat of that form of protection. With anything that you do energetically, I've said this a million times, but aligning with it is the key. And by aligning with it, I just mean you really have to mean it. You have to believe it. You have to sit with it until it feels very, very palpably real to you. Okay? If it's in your head in this space of like, ah, I hope this works, it's like just get out of the meditation. It's not worth it. You sit there until you feel the heat. Your heart starts beating. It's so it's, it's so active. You, the energy when it starts spinning, you start like almost feeling it. You are literally aligned with the vibrational experience of what you are creating. Okay, on that energetic plane. Um, okay, so once you've done that. Then I saw the tip of it up here stretch up and connect to the cosmic grid uh, or this central, central sun or whatever. It, I saw it connect to the cosmic grid. And um, so that is the way that I see it. And again, this is just in my own clairvoyance. You can feel into what feels relevant for you. But it always looks like this weird uh, like silicone. You know, if you've ever seen a fake boob, before they put it in the skin, it's like that weird, like jelly looking blob, you know, it feels like that. There's like a density and a weight to the cosmic web, the way I see it, but they're little strands or webs, but they almost have this like weird silicone buoyancy to them. And I see the top of that, um, Merkaba stretching up and touching that part of the cosmic web and the bottom part of the triangle of the Merkaba pulling down and touching that central core crystal grid of the earth, the core crystal. So it's, it's like it stretches up uh, energetically and connects you um, into your cosmic energy and your earth energy. So you're very grounded and able to move in a grounded space and not feel off. And yet you're very heightened in term of, terms of your vibrational um, alignment. Uh, that's what I saw. So in, for, in terms of like what type of shielding or protection? It's a Merkaba protection. With that meditation, I told you, if I can break it down into the steps, it's move outside of your body right beside it. Then trace the line of the sacred geometric shape of the star tetrahedron or the Merkaba. Then light it on fire. Spin it. Attach it from the top and the bottom to the cosmic grid and the earth grid. And feel into it. Like I said, feel it until you believe that it is turned on. Then you can move back into your body, move your higher self or that activation self that was outside just for the use of that meditation, back into your form, sit with it until you feel incredibly protected, incredibly active in terms of your energy, and then go about your day. End your meditation, say thank you, and know that you are protected because that mama is a serious form of protection. Believe me. <laughs> uh, and I hope it's helpful. Love you guys. Blessings.